Hello procrastinators, money makers and also YouTubers, it is your friend LazerJet and welcome to a very special video today because we have been doing something that I should have been doing a very long time ago because today we are playing Train Sim World and the people who made this is the exact same people who made uh, Train Simulator 2017 but this time it's a bit different and to be honest it's actually fantastic because we've got our American diesel locomotive here. I don't know the name for it because, you know, I'm not a train expert. But the game and the detail in this whole simulator is just absolutely fantastic because you can actually walk around like in Half-Life or in Gary's mod. So that is really cool. And if you hold down shift, you get to run as well. But this is actually like a proper train simulator game that's teach you how to drive trains, how to actually work and how they actually operate. So this is actually... A proper simulator so I'm just so excited to finally be playing this game because um, oh hold on what does this say are you sure you want to give up uh, no I don't um, because if you go if you uh, stand off your train for so long uh, I think you're trying to abandon it so uh, it gives you the option that you think you're trying to leave your train which is that's like that's actually quite good in a way um, but look at the detail in every single part of this loco. It's just, it's, it's just so fantastic. And if we, um, oh hold on, uh, right, uh, left click for. Oh look! Oh my god, that's fun. Oh god, look at the wires as well. Oh, that is so cool. So those things go up and down, and the wires just went through each other. I think. Yeah, that that okay. That that was a bit of a mistake. Okay, that's that's a bit of a downside. But look, oh, look at that bright that sun is. But um, if you walk up to the ladder and press E, you can actually climb up and climb off the train, and that's just that is so good. That is so cool. And if we can actually walk around the train as well, which is cool, and I love that. Um, and we got a little um. If you don't know, if, if you guys can't see it, but obviously you can. But if you look on the bottom right corner, you can actually see we have a clock, which is seven. PM, no AM. Sorry, it's it's 7 AM. Oh, God, look at that view though. Oh, we could take the chain off. Oh, that's cool. God, imagine imagine going at full speed and just looking out there. That oh, we can't. We got to try that. Um, but if we um go up here and go to the door and left click again, you can open and close the door, which is cool. And you can actually move around inside, and you've got all these control things, which we'll get into later. And if you actually will go over here, you can actually go around and walk to the back, which I find really amazing. And oh, pray on, press E to climb the ladder. <gasps> oh, press E. To oh my God, that's amazing! Press E to climb the ladder. Oh my God, this is this is so cool. This is so amazingly cool. Um, can we? Um, I don't know how. I don't know how. Hold on, do we have to? Hold on, uh, how do you open chat? Um, ah, here we go. Move that. Ah, oh, here we go. Can we, can we move across? Ah, press E to, oh, okay, so you press E to move from ca from train to train. And if we go in, into this one, we can actually still go inside this locomotive, which is actually really cool. Oh my god, it just, I'll tell you what though, guys, i tell you what, this game is just bonkersly mad. I mean, the detail's fantastic, the physics are great, and th the way this game works is just beyond amazing you've got and you and you've got safety warnings here which is co oh hold on what's this latch locked can we oh oh my god it's the oh it's the engine um uh okay um engine prime start no what's this cranking oh oh that accelerates the engine <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Right, let, let's let's close this up because that's for like special occasions. We'll do that like later on in the video, or maybe we'll do that in the next in a, in a, in a different video because um, we'll, we want to save all this for next time. Right, closed door. Right, um, I'm just really excited. Um, oh, hello. I've got a w conductor. Can I st can I steal her seat? Ha! I stole I stole her seat. There you go. I don't want that seat anymore. Um, Right, uh, right, well, she's gone, that's good. So I have the train all to myself. Um, what's this? Let me see, valve closed. No, we don't want that. Um, handbrake. Applied. No. There we go, handbrake is off. There we go. Right, let's head back into the, um, into the cab. And let's get this thing moving. So if we press E. Um, right, let's see. Um, versa neutral. So we have that on forward. Um, independent brake, we want to take that off, so 
it takes all the brakes off in the um, in the freight wagons and the um, actual loco itself, so all the brakes are off, so that's good. Uh, there should be another brake sound. I think this is uh, um, automatic. Okay, this is it. Uh, brake released and um, brake off, and I think ah throttle idle. So if we have it to throttle three, oh, and we're moving. Oh, we're moving. If we press E, can we stand up? Yes, we can stand up. Can we go outside and move it? Yes, we can. Um, can we actually jump down while the train's on the move? Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, that's a sh that, that is a shame. Oh, well. Well, I said, let's head back inside. Uh, in the cab, close the door. There we go. Right, uh, let's, um, need to take a seat. And, um, to let people know we're coming, um, we'll have the, have the lights bright, like so. And blow the horn. God, that's loud. Very good horn, though. And here's our miles per hour, 9.4, which is good. And we've got um, another speedometer in the bottom right corner, which is all right, I guess. I mean, it would be better if it wasn't on. Um, but not only that, but uh, there's so many things. Right, bell on quick. There we go, bell on to let people know that we're leaving. But if we actually walk around, you can actually have the cab light on, which I think is very cool. And... Ah, she's back. Oh, my God. Um, first aid kit. Uh, danger. High voltage. Wow. Uh, and this is the... F oh, my God. Oh, it's the fuse box. Oh, my God. This game just keeps getting better and better. I tell you what, though, guys. I really recommend you getting this game because you actually can walk around. Like, it's like Half-Life or Gary's Mod. If you guys haven't played Gary's Mod, then, you know, I don't know where you guys have been. Um, oh, but look. The, 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 the light is shining onto the... Onto the ground and you can actually see the light shine effect which is cool we're moving we're moving at a very gentle pace at the moment we don't want to go too fast because um you know many reasons but if we actually go well if we press e on the c and if you press two you can actually look around so it's just like train simulator well actually it's exactly like train simulator except you've got many cool features and stuff and um if you press the horn again And if you look at the front, you can actually see there's two little shiny lights going from left to right. Left to right. I, th I find that really cool. Right, uh, bell off. And uh, if you press 8, you can you get to go in the free roam camera thing, which is... It's, it's just... It's exactly like Train Simulator. And God, listen to the sound effect when the freight cars are moving. You can hear them, like, squeaking along the rails. It sounds so realistic. Let me listen to that. Sounds so realistic, and it looks realistic too. Oh, this this is just fantastic! And I also got to point out that this consist is actually half a mile long. So, so you know, half a mile long consist. That's um, that's fantastic actually. Um, can we open the floor? No, that's a sh that can't. No, that's a shame. Uh, open door, closed door. Let's uh, move around. Oh, a bit of a glitch. Um, but we're not going. We're not going too fast, which is good. But I think we could go a bit faster if we put more power on. So if we go back into the cab and press E and put throttle on full, the shots should be picking up speed. And the A P, sorry, the A M P, will would uh, start going up to so 800 and something, and we'll start picking up speed. But we are climbing uphill, which is a shame because. You know, hills, see, look, look, look how, you can tell we're climbing uphill, because look how bloody steep it is. Oh, but look at the detail in this game, it's just, they've really outdone themselves. And look at the detail in the sun, and the light, and everything. Oh, bit of lag. And look at the detail in the, in the, in the, um, in the lake, where actually technically it's a river. But listen to that realistic sound effect, and you've got my train over there. And that's, that's, a, that's a bloody loud horn as well. This game is actually probably one of the best train simulator games I've actually ever played in my entire life. And you get so many cool, like, you can actually look at different camera views, which I find really cool. So you've got the inside, the outside, uh, if you press 3 you get this awesome one, if you press 3 again and then you get to see what it looks like at the back, which is a bit of laggy because, you know, it's still loading. But if you press 3 again then you get to go to the front of the train. 
Oh, it's so cool though. This is this is without doubt the coolest and the best train simulator game I've ever played in my entire life. Ever. Fact. Wonder what other things you can have. Um rear headlights, bright, there we go, to let people know that I'm going forwards, not backwards. Oh god, then we've got a bit of G force. We're leaning, we're leaning. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. Everything everything's fine. And um you actually get these sun vision thing well, sun visor. Look at that. Isn't that just isn't that just super cool? Like you put some sun visor there, so if it's a bit sunny, you can put them there so you don't go blind. That's actually that is, that is so cool. Um, I want to find out where the window wipers are. Um, uh, I don't know because um, I think um, what's this? Hold on. What's that? What's this? Oh, I want to find out what this is. Um, what is that wiper? Oh, hold on. Can't actually get to it. Oh, hold on. Come on! Damn you! Oh, oh! I have to do it manually. Oh, that's, oh, that's dumb. There must be like there might be like there must be a switch somewhere. Hold on, let's open the windows. Yes, you can open the windows. It's amazing. I know. Um, let's uh, let's have a look. Um, no, it's not that. It's not that. So let's let's sit down. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit 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 sit. Um, no, 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 no. The wipers must be here somewhere. Um, what's this? Heater? You get a heater in this game? Um, oh my god, that's, un that's unbelievable. Um, no, we don't want that one. Uh, sand? No. No. Bell? No. Where in the name of God is the... Where's the... Where are the wipers? Where are the bloody wipers? There must be here somewhere. Oh no, that's the cut out button. But I can't... I can't find the damn wipe... I, I, they might be up here. Are they up here? No. 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 How about... What about the fuse box? No. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm gonna have that on. Turbo, no. Brake train control, no. Uh, where are the what? Where are the wipers? I mean, I know it's not raining, but I want to find out where the wipers are, just in case if it does rain, because you know you've got to be prepared. And what's this? Gallons. Oh, it's this is the. Oh, this must be our fuel. Oh, that must. Okay, that that must be the fuel. Um. 66 miles per hour. That's good. I can't find the wipers though. That's um, that's a bit annoying. They, they must be out here. Um, say what? Let's um, are they in the uh, in the in there? No, they can't. They can't be in here, can they? Hold on. Let's open this. If we can, unlock, open doors. Uh, no. Why the hell did I thought they would be in there? Um, right. Let's lock that up. And let's 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 let's, let's go back inside. What the hell's that noise? Oh god, I know what that is. Um, hold on. No, I'll have that off. Turn off, turn off, turn off. I think it's letting me know that I'm speeding. Am I speeding? I don't even know what the speed limit is. Oh, yeah, speed limit is... I think it's 35 and I'm doing around about 52. So yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I am definitely speeding right now. I'm totally, 100% speeding. But there is one downside I do have with this game, and you guys will probably hate me for saying this, but then again, you guys might agree, you might not. But the thing is, the only thing you can drive in this game is only a diesel locomotive, and plus, it, and not only that, it's also an American locomotive, so you can't actually drive anything British, and you can't drive any steam trains, which I'm really annoyed about, because I would really want to see how cool a steam train would look in a game like this, but... Uh, I guess that's the way it is. I guess God, we're really leaning. But if you guys do agree with me, agree with me with this, they should add a steam train in this game. They've just got to, even though even if, even if it's an American steam train or even if it's German, they've just got to add a steam train in this game because I really want to have a go at driving a steam train in this. Because can you imagine how awesome the detail would be and how fun it would and how hard it would be? It just it would be one of the best train simulator games in the world. 
I mean, this is a, a good train simulator game, but I wouldn't say it's the best, but I'm not saying it's the worst. It's actually, this is classed as actually one of the good ones, and that's all i got to say is, like, just, just, you've just got to add more cool things to it, like add steam trains, because driving diesel locomotives are boring, and uh, well, they can, they can get boring, but I'm just hoping that one day they'll sort that problem out, because I really want to have a go at driving a steam train in this game. And we are really picking up, speeding how fast we're going. Hold on, please. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't use the horn. I have to, I have to be in. Open the door, damn you! I think I've got, I've got to be. Yeah, I've got to be driving the train to actually activate the horn. Right, well, I think we're coming up to our destination of where we should be going. Um, three hundred yards. Two hundred yards. 100 yards, nearly. And I think that's that. Objective completed. Oh, we've got to go somewhere else now. And if we put, hold on, if we press 9, we can actually see where we are on the map. But, I wonder where we've got to go to. Oh, we, oh, we've got to go to there. God, that, that, that is a long way. Oh, God, this, this, oh my God, this, this is a huge map. I mean... Well, it's not the biggest I've ever used, but you know, it's still a quite a big map. Um, I want to press 8 again because I want to see how awesome it looks. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, let's, I want to get a really cool shot of this. If we go all the way over here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like a normal person on the hill. And let's see how long our consist is. It's got to be like at least half a mile long, maybe a mile long, something like that. Actually, I'll say, I'd say it's a half a mile long. Yeah, something like that. Oh my god, we're coming up to really steep corners. I think we might accidentally derail. I hope not, because that would be... That would be quite bad if we actually did derail. But actually, that would be quite cool. I've never actually seen this diesel actually derail before. And away it goes. Oh god, listen to the sound. It's just, it's so loud. But alright, let's close the windows because it's getting a quick cold in here. And stand up. Open door. Go outside, close the door. Oh, bit, oh. God, let, let me go down there, god damn you. Um. Oh, I wonder where that way goes. I'm, I'm really interested to see if we can actually, um, actually, yeah, I think we can actually, we stop the train and we can actually switch points, I think we can do that, um, E, right, let's, um, put the, um, independent brake on, and put the emergency brake on, and throttle on idle, stand up, actually, no, actually, we'll sit back down again, because actually, um, I want to get a good shot of this, actually. Um, stop. Oh, God, this thing is slowing down very quickly, isn't it? Wow, that, that, that actually stopped much quicker than I thought it would. That's actually, that's actually quite impressive. Um, right, let's stand up. Go outside. Open door. Close the door. Let me down. Oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, I thought, it was, I thought we could climb up that thing. Well, that's... Oh, hold on. Wait, well, hold on. What was this? What was this? I th oh, climb down steps. Oh, that's, I think that's all you can do, I'm afraid. That, that's, uh, that sucks. But there is a cool feature on this, because if we check here, we um, got 1,386 gallons of fuel in our tank. And if we go here, we can actually take the fuel cap off and... Well, at the moment we can't, but we can actually fill up with fuel if we wanted to, and I think we'll save that for next time. But guys, I think we should call it at this episode and end for now. What a fantastic day it's been so far. It's just been great. I really did enjoy this game, and we're going to do so much more very soon. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be in the description. And listen, guys, if you want me to do more videos like this, then make sure you click that like button if you want me to do more gameplays and reviews on this fantastic simulator because it's just been amazing because I, I really did enjoy this. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember... 
and always remember, stay cool, my friends. Bye.